guys welcome back to another video on the channel and we're back again with part two premier league predictions game week 35 um yeah there's some midweek games on the premier league and i thought i'd do two separate videos and um yeah before we get started make sure you like comment subscribe all that good stuff we're so close to 100 subs so if we could get there that'd be excellent but let's get into the five games i believe let's do it all right, so kickstart in the five games. The first one comes at Old Trafford, which Man United facing Leicester City. And, uh, yeah, massive game for Leicester after getting humble, well, humiliated 4-2 against Newcastle on Friday night. Need to bounce back if they want to be getting them top four places. Obviously, they've got FA Cup final against Chelsea Saturday. But, yeah, they need to get something here. And, um, yeah, I think they might get something against Man United side who are playing... Three games in five days, which is just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I think Man United have prioritised the Liverpool game. So, for that reason, I think it's going to be a draw on this one. I'm going to go 1-1. One, one. My dad's gone 2-1. But, um, yeah, expect a tight game. And, um, yeah, Leicester do need something. So, that might put them on the front foot. But let's see what happens. Let's move on. All right, so next up, we have Southampton taking on Crystal Palace at St Mary's. And, um, yeah, it doesn't really mean either for any team. Like, it's not a really exciting ball game. Get a lot of these games at the end of the season when it's just two teams who are pretty much safe. Well, Palace are safe. Not Southampton just yet, but virtually safe. Um, taking on each other. But, yeah, I, I think... I don't know, Palace were quite good against Sheffield United. I know it's Sheffield United, but they are uh, a much better team. Deserve a 2-0 victory. And, um, yeah, I think they might win this one. I'm going to go with a 2-1 to Crystal Palace, just to nick it. Eze, what a player he is as well. With, obviously, Wilfred Zaha. But, yeah, 2-1 to Crystal Palace. That's gone 1-1. Let's move on. All right, so next up on the Wednesday at Stamford Bridge, it's Chelsea taking on Arsenal. And, um... Yeah, oh, unbelievable result on Saturday. If you haven't gone and watched it, make sure you do. Match reaction to Mad City. When Marcus Alonso scores 90th minute, absolute limbs. But yeah, massive result for the Blues. And if we win this one, we're virtually done for top four, in my opinion, with two games left. But as long as results go our way. But um, yeah, I think we can beat Arsenal. Arsenal, decent 3-1 win against West Brom yesterday. But... Um, not really great. It's been a crap season for Arsenal now after losing in the uh, Europa League and um, yeah, not playing for much. Whereas we're playing for a lot. Obviously, we've got the FA Cup final on Saturday and um, yeah, the Champions League final looks like it's going to be moved to Wembley, which is good news for um, fans of both clubs. But yeah, regarding this result, I'm going 2-0 Chelsea. So just got a decent record at home to Arsenal and let's hope we can continue that. With a big three points. My dad has gone with a 2-0 as well. So, yeah, both in agreement. Three points, please, Chelsea. And, um, yeah, let's go into that cut final on a high. Let's move on. All right, so two more games left to cover. And the first one comes at Villa Park. Where it's Aston Villa taking on Everton. And they, these two only played each other, like, last couple of weeks. Um, obviously, Everton came up out on top. Um, not Everton. Aston Villa came out on top with a 2-1 winning. Al Ghazi getting the winner. But I think it might be the other way around. I think Everton are so much better away. And Villa are pretty much better away as well. So, um, yeah. I reckon the away team here in Everton will pick up the points. Really good result for them against West Ham yesterday. And um, keeps them in contention for top four. Well, well especially Europe, well, Europa League places. But maybe top four is out of the equation. But you never know, do you? But... Yeah, I'm going 2-1 to, um, to Everton on this one. My dad's gone 1-1, so yeah, he's gone with a draw. But let's move on to the last game. All right, so the last game comes at Old Trafford, where it's Man United taking on Liverpool. I've already done my predictions for this one in a other video, but we'll go through this one again. Um, yeah, well, because of look, what's happened to the camera? Jeez, but... Um, yeah, what do I think on this one? I think Man United will win this one. I think they're not playing for much because I think for seconds virtually finished, but they're going to raise their game and they're just better than Liverpool this season in general. Edison Cavani signed a new contract today. 
which is a massive plus for United fans as he's been one of their best players. Obviously, Bruno's been their best, but he's got to be up there with the goals he's scoring. But yeah, I'm going to go 2-1 Man United on this one. I think Liverpool need it more, but I think Man United are a better team at the moment. And um, yeah, they're going to win that one. My uh, dad's gone 1-1, so he sat on the fence. 1-1 draw. But yeah, that's the five games covered. So like I said, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll see you for game week 36 Premier League predictions on Friday. Um, yeah, some big ones. Obviously, Chelsea aren't playing because they're playing the cup final. But I'll do my predictions for the cup final as well. So um, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. And I'll uh, see you on the next one. Oh, that'll be Arsenal match reaction, won't it? Arsenal match reaction will be out Wednesday. And um, yeah, lots of videos coming your way. So uh, make sure you subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you on the next one.